Hey, it's Chris, back with another weekly apps recommendation video. Now we're getting several weeks deep here. Let me just reiterate, if you have an app that you wanna get on this show, Follow me on X, it's at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K. You should follow me there anyways if you like Apple stuff. And let me know about your app, send me a DM. I have so many worthwhile apps that people have submitted that I've sifted through, and I've picked some of the best out to share with you today. Whether you're looking for some productivity enhancement stuff for your business, some AI fun, or just fun in general, stick around. But first, if you haven't heard about my course, Learning to Be Productive, check it out. It'll help you get more done in less time in the Apple ecosystem with less burnout. While you can purchase it outright on its own, you can also get it for free when you pre-order my new course, Pro iPhone Video Essentials, which will help you take amazing, next level, professional looking video on the iPhone you already have and blow people away. Great for personal stuff, great for business stuff. That's linked up down below. The first app we're checking out today is a keyboard clipboard app. I don't think I'm overdoing it here if I say this one's really gonna change things up for you. It just makes your workflows easier, whether you're sharing photos or links or files or text snippets, it's one tap from the keyboard shortcuts to insert anywhere. Like for me, I know there's certain emails where I'm giving basically the same core response all the time, one tap to share. There's certain links that I'm constantly sharing, like my Calendly link, and I don't have to go copy and paste it anymore, I can just put it here in this keyboard and tap to share it. I like to kind of think of this app as my bookmarks for other people, if that makes sense. And that's what's so brilliant about it. Of course, it does have some AI baked in, what doesn't these days, but it's also gonna sync across all your Apple devices with iCloud. There's a dark mode, who doesn't like that? But this is one of those things, if you take, I don't know, five, 10, 15 minutes and load it up with all the stuff, or if as you encounter certain situations, you're like, I wish I had this on tap, take a second and put it on tap for yourself, you're just gonna have a whole new way of working. Now, if that didn't already blow you away, I think this next one will. We're sticking with productivity here, and I know there's people out there who are always reminding themselves via email. Well, now there's an official way to do that. It's called Quick Notes Email Me. This is for voice memos and speech to text. So what do you do? You capture your thoughts, your to-dos, your ideas. You can see this works for the Mac, iPhone, obviously even the Apple Watch, that's gonna be awesome. And you send it to yourself via email. This is great for all of you people out there who just use your inbox as your to-do list. I know there's a lot of people. On the Mac, it's a one-click menu bar access. That's pretty cool. Although I gotta be honest, mine's pretty cluttered now. So you gotta use something like Bartender to clean that up. If you think about it though, is there a fastest way to take notes? It depends on the kind of note and how you plan to access it. Is it something that's permanent? Is it just something you need to know about, be reminded about, and then you can let go? I'm guessing a lot of people will supplement their normal note-taking app, whether that's Apple Notes or Bear Notes or what have you, with something like this that can fill in some of the gaps. And like I said, Apple Watch support, I'm glad to see that it didn't get left out because it's an important part of our workflow sometimes. This isn't really an app, but I'm gonna put it in here because I'm kinda like your wallpaper app in a way, the Daily Tech Wallpaper Store. I just uploaded some great new wallpapers. Look at these photos. If you don't really want photography because you're sick of it, but you want something with a little bit of style, but you want something that's happy as well, then check these out. Got sort of a national parks thing going on and it's called expansive because look at the views. Linked up in the Daily Tech Wallpaper Store, which by the way, has some freebies. If you didn't know that, go over and claim your free wallpapers. Why wouldn't you? In the productivity course, I talk an awful lot about habits, how to improve them, how to pick the right ones, how to keep them going. Knowledge is great, but an actual tool that can help is all the better. This one is such a cool app. This is one of my favorite apps here in this video, it's called Habit Kit. And though there are lots of habit trackers out there, there's something about this one, the style, the aesthetics, the colors, just everything about it that really clicks for me. First of all, look at the widgets, right? It's basically widgets inside of the app and widgets outside of the app in the actual widgets. I'm a very visual person and I like to see things at a glance, but especially when you take the time to track something, I mean, that takes some time out of your day. You wanna know that it's worth it. And one way to make it worth it is to have that data present to motivate you when you need it. And I feel like that's exactly what you get here. It's not just about tracking the habits. There's customization, you get those streaks, you get the reminders, that's important. There's multiple themes, you get the calendar, there's an archive, you can import or export. Now here's an app that was a really cool submission. It's called Presentify. It's a Mac app and it lets you give better presentations or online classes, do video tutorials by annotating your screen. You can highlight with your cursor, it's really cool. So you can see it pulls up a toolbar at the top of your screen. You got some color options, you can turn it off, but then super easily you can draw boxes around things to bring attention to those items. 
you can just draw, make arrows or symbols, annotate stuff. And you can see it disappears. I like it. It's ephemeral. It doesn't last forever. So it kind of gets out of the way because maybe you need to explain stuff. Now you can just layer on some super simple, easy to use tools that are going to help you get your point across easier, including mouse highlighting. I love that. There's some customization. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, kind of what you would expect, but it's still nice and simple. That's what I really like. Now, I told you we'd have a little bit of AI in here, and it's not the same old AI that you're always expecting and hearing about. It's not just generative. It's not ChatGPT. This is for music. Have you ever wanted to make some music? You get a tune in your head and you're like, that would make an awesome song, but I'm not a musician. I don't know how to do it. Well, Suno can help you bring some music to life that you can call yours in a way because you steered it, you conducted it. Let's put it like that. But you can come in and you basically give it a prompt. Like, here's what I want. I want a hip hop song about whatever or an oldie song about whatever. And it will come up with some stuff that you can then change. You can share it. It's kind of like mid journey for music. And that's where it's going to be controversial. Some people don't like mid journey and some people aren't going to like this, but you can turn your ideas into music. So the sample here is indie pop tune with surf rock vibes and the perfect summer and road trip. Now here's the kicker. Maybe you got a good voice and you want to record it to the tune. You can do that. And then you can share it because what's the point of making it if you don't get it in front of anybody, right? Or, you know, maybe you just want to keep it to yourself too. I want to wrap things up here with a great app for students. I get a lot of requests. Hey, can you give me some resources? I'm a student. This one's called Exam Cram. This is for your Mac and basically it uses AI to quiz you. And as you can see, it's got a really nice, simple interface. But what I really like about it is that it's going to give you some stats because it's like anything. The more you practice, the better you're going to be, right? That's the whole point of studying. And I feel like if you see the data, like you can see on the left hand side there, and you're like, okay, I totally blew it for a day or two there, but I don't want to ruin the streak. I'm going to get back into it. You can do that here. You can see that progress, which is really cool. You can even break it down by your classes. Basically, the elevator pitch is that you can easily, very quickly take your study material and turn it into a quiz and then get smarter. You know, I thought that we were going to be done here, but I can tell you just really want another app. So I'm going to give you one. And if you hung around to the end, I tried to save some good ones for the end. This one's called Almanac. What it is, is a different take on event countdown. So you can keep track of what's important. This one's really cool though. It's like more professional. So it gives you a timeline for the days that you're really looking forward to. The obvious thing might be a birthday or some sort of special event, but it doesn't have to be just that. Just the basics, just nice and simple. You know so far from this series that I love to include things that have widgets. This makes great use of widgets. In fact, the whole widget is like the whole point, basically. Getting stuff added in the back end or whatever, that's important, you need that, but you're gonna see it. You're gonna encounter these things in the widget. Got your notifications in there. So some people are gonna use this as a reminder system, not just as, oh, hey, I'm looking forward to this, but oh, I need to go grab a present or something. And what's kind of cool is you can also keep these in categories. That's a little bit different than other apps that we've covered before that kind of have a similar reason to exist. And then also things don't just disappear when they're gone. You kind of have this simple archive so you can look back and sort of be grateful for the things that have come into your life that you were looking forward to at some point, which is actually a powerful thing. I talk about this a lot, like there's something to gratitude. And if you can look back and remind yourself, oh yeah, you know, things aren't that bad. This is actually a pretty decent life here. Then trust me, your life will be a lot more decent than if you just forget about everything and think everything is bad. So check it out. All of these are linked up down below. Don't forget to pre-order the new course. Check out the old courses. Just because they're old doesn't mean they're not valuable. Some really great tips in there, especially that productivity course, which you can get for free for a limited time right now. There might be even another bonus. I don't know. Maybe you should go check it out. It's all linked up down below. Check out the wallpapers. They're brand new. And I'll catch you in the next video. Later.